Hey guys, on this adventure, I just had a zero at Galveston. Now I'm back on trail. So let's see what the, uh, the rest of Northern Virginia has to offer. Catch you down trail. All right, so I'm on the top of uh, Bluff Mountain, which is appropriately named because uh, I started today at around 900 feet of elevation. I'm now at 3,351 feet of elevation. And uh, ever since Damascus, I've been doing nothing but climbing mountains. Um, so whoever says that uh, Virginia is flat is flat out lying. Um, it has been nothing but climbing mountains. Uh, we haven't hit a flat patch in Virginia yet that constitutes a nice flat area. So um, lots of climbs, lots of high ridges with difficult terrain. So uh, yeah, I don't know who started the lie about Virginia being flat, but it's definitely not flat. So, um, but um, I did start my day um, at Glasgow Public Shelter, which was really awesome. Had a, a really cool uh, trail angel guy named Sweatsicle um, who gave me a ride into uh, the trailhead from the shelter and he's a former through hiker great guy uh, i've seen him several times along the trail and he's just been doing trail magic and helping people out with uh shuttles and stuff where he can so really cool dude and uh yeah just been uh been climbing all day and uh it's now uh it's now a little after one o'clock i started my climb around uh, nine o'clock so it's been nothing but climbing all day so now i get to go down uh, for a little while, but then I hit a roller coaster. I'm doing a 20 mile day. All right, so that's it for now. But uh, yeah, Virginia is not flat, so don't let people lie to you. I'm about to celebrate a kind of bittersweet moment, um, hitting the uh, 800 mark on trail. And it's bittersweet because um, this is the first marker that I'm not with anybody uh, in a long time. I met Teflon at the 300 mark and we sat and ate lunch at that one. And then from there on, I was with uh, either Teflon and potato or both of them for all the rest of them. So uh, I'm glad I'm here at 800. I'm sad that they're behind me now. And, uh, but it is what it is. And uh, all I can do now is keep pushing forward. All right, we'll catch you guys down trail. Happy 800. Good morning, everybody. So I'm just now leaving Brown Mountain Creek Shelter. And um, because I've pushed a couple of hard days, 
uh, put myself into a new bubble. Um, a lot of young people, mostly under 25, and uh, the shelters were full, the campsites were full. So it's kind of crazy for me because it's been a lot of nights where I was just in shelters by myself. And now, you know, it's like packed houses everywhere. Tonight, I probably won't push as hard. I got a 3,000 foot ascent right now. And uh, I'm telling you what, whoever said Virginia was flat, I, I don't know where that lie started, but it's crazy. Uh, I mean, right out of Damascus, out of Marion, out of Daleville, out of uh, Glasgow, every, every town we come out of, it's just like major climb after major climb. So, I mean, no, they're not the North Carolina 4,000 plus, but like today, we're gonna hit 4,000. So yeah, Virginia is definitely not flat. So it's a big lie. And uh, I guess the reason they say you can do higher miles is just cause you have hiker legs, but still it's exhausting. And you know, a lot of ups and downs, ups and downs. But I hit 800 yesterday, which that was a big accomplishment. And uh, we'll uh, catch you down trail. Hey guys, so I'm on top of Bald Knob at 4,000 foot of elevation. I started at 1,500, uh, so you do the math. <laughs> that was a that was a crazy climb, and it's not the last of the day. I still have a couple more 500 foot climbs to do after I come off of Bald Knob. Um, in the intro, I said I did a uh, a zero in Galveston. I meant to say Glasgow. Uh, I don't know why I messed that up, but I did. So I uh, apologize for. Uh, the people of Galveston thinking I was in your towns. <laughs> so, uh, well, it's a beautiful day. Got kind of, kind of an obscured view here. Uh, there was a better one in, back there. Uh, there's a photo of it here. Pretty, pretty impressive day. Uh, it's nice. Weather's nice. It's partly overcast. And um, breeze has been pretty nice. Yesterday I did 20 on the hottest day of the year so far in Virginia, and uh, that was a that was a butt kicker. So only going to be doing about 18 today, so not as far. Still not an easy day, but uh, hopefully it'll be it'll be a fun day. All right, guys, um, I'm tired right now. I'm going to grab some snacks and uh, and then get off this mountaintop. But uh, I'll catch you down trail. on the top of the second, second summit for the day and this is Cole Mountain and uh, this is a this is a bluff or a bald and you can see there's no grass up here but again a nice full 360 view up here and uh, what a challenge all right now I go down for a water break catch you guys at the bottom It's the uh, end of another hiking day for me, and it was, it was brutal. Uh, like, it's never not brutal, right? But uh, now we started off with a super tall climb right out of the shelter, and uh, we went from about 3,500 foot of elevation gain in, in about a two hour period. And uh, it was, that was rough. And then, uh, then we went down another 500 up, down another 380 up down so it's been a lot of climbing today and uh it's getting hot and that's why i gotta show you the water in the background um water is becoming a uh, a scarce commodity out here so we're really having to watch where we go for water um or how far we go without water stops because um, some of them are dry and they show that they're supposed to be there but they're not so 
so, you know, you're, you, if you run on out empty and you hit one of these dry holes, it can, it can really mess up your day. Um, I, uh, I got into camp literally on fumes. Uh, I, I drank my last bit of water about a mile and a half before I got to camp and it's just been brutally hot and muggy and it's been, uh, it's been sapping energy like crazy. Not to mention the hard climb at the beginning of the day. Um, just made everything tough. So, uh, I want to say verge of, uh, heat exhaustion today not heat stroke but just just exhausted from the heat it would literally make me stop catch my breath let my heart rate come down before i could uh, move on so um it's getting tough out here uh with the heat so we'll see how things go so all right guys well i just wanted to report in so last night was a uh, kind of cool i had the entire shelter to myself so that doesn't happen very often. Plus, had great internet service and the water wasn't too far away. So it was like a like a like a great uh, triple crown there. So today, uh, only going to do about 15 to the next shelter. I'm going to stop at pre-shelter. Pre-shelter is kind of cool because it's um, the logbook is used for confessionals because it's called pre-shelter. So. I'm looking forward to having lunch there and reading all the confessions of people in the past. So should be pretty cool. So, uh, but yeah, it looks like it's going to rain later this today. So hopefully I'll get to the shelter before it rains and just hunker down for the night. And, and I got a uh, reservation at a place called Rusty's, uh, hostel for tomorrow night. So we'll see how that turns out. It's, uh, he's supposed to be true Americana kind of a guy. And, uh, so we'll see, see what that's all about. All right. So, Quick check in for the morning and uh, we'll talk to you guys down trail. Hey gang, all right, so I did a uh, Blue Blaze side trail um, to a, a location called Spy Rock. Now Spy Rock was used during the uh, Civil War as a lookout point. So if you look around, you can see why. This gives you a full 360 up here of the surrounding area. Yeah, weather's moving in today, so you can see the clouds already in the distance. So. But yeah, kind of a neat blue blaze. About 0.3 off trail, but still worth it. All right, we'll catch you guys down trail. I just left Priest Shelter, and uh, it's uh, it's kind of well known as a confessional location. So the log book there is called the Book of Confessions, as you can see, and uh, you basically confess sins. So um, I didn't uh, take any photos or video of it because uh, I wanted to protect the innocents, but. It's, a, it's kind of funny to read. It's, it's Actually, it's a lot of fun to read because a lot of people actually leave their names, which is really funny. So, but uh, now, did Aquaman leave a confession? Only the hikers in the 2020 year will know. All right, guys, we're going to catch you down trail. Hey guys, so uh, just came across Trey River, which is at the bottom of Priest Mountain. 
and I have to tell you, uh, coming down Priest Mountain, it's a four mile downhill, and the first mile and a half, I really believe, is penance for your confessions. Um, the first mile and a half is just boulders, big rocks, ankle twisters, uh, knee, knee busters. It's just a nasty, nasty mile and a half. Uh, it wears you out. Your hip flexors get worn out. Your knees get worn out. Uh, your ankles are, are constantly in danger of entrapment. Um, it's just a really, really garbage part of trail um, for about a mile and a half. And so it's slow going and it's mentally exhausting because you're having to pick every foot fall uh, very carefully so you don't twist something or slip. And uh, yeah, I'm, uh, and then it's after that, it's, it's just, it's, it's four miles. So it's, it's a long, long downhill. Uh, you're on that coming down for almost two hours. So I'm pretty tired, but I still have uh, three miles to go to shelter. So, uh, um, but it was nice to see Trey River. Uh, I wish I had time to get in it before the rain, but there might be a, a body of water in front of the shelter I'm going to. So we'll, we'll see. Maybe I'll get lucky and get into that one. All right, guys, we'll catch you down trail. Good morning, everybody. I'm at Harper Creek Shelter and uh, just getting ready to head out. And uh, the woods are still really misty from last night. We had a heavy rain after I got here last night. Um, yesterday my gear got completely sweated through to the point i mean it's just saturated and so last night because of the rain nothing dried out so this morning everything i have on is still wet which should make for a fun hike uh going out in today's hike is a uh 3.3 mile uphill so yeah it's gonna be over a 2,000 foot gain of elevation so all of that that i lost yesterday on that um four mile down well I get to gain it all back today going uphill and um, so I'm gonna try to make it today to a um, to an actual hostel that uh, is run by a guy named Rusty so we'll see if I can make it there uh, so that should be early in the day again weather right now again is really cool misty kind of almost eerie in places but uh, yeah all right so that's it for now and uh, Packing up and heading out. Catch you guys down trail. Hey guys. All right, so I'm about halfway up the uh, climb this morning. So I'm about a mile and a half up the three mile climb. And uh, every once in a while you get into an area where you can get a really cool view like this. I mean, just check it out. So I'm above the cloud line and you can see them drifting in the background. So it's pretty cool. So just thought I'd share that with you guys and uh, still got a long way to go, but taking a break to enjoy the view. Always got to enjoy the view. Catch you down trail. All right, gang, so I'm on top of Three Ridge Mountain. That was uh, another proof that Virginia is not flat. But from what I understand, that's the last of the really bad climbs uh, before I get to the Shenandoahs in about 40, 40 miles or so. Um, I'll probably be taking a couple of stops before then uh, just to resupply and uh, uh, take a break just to give my legs a little bit of a break from all this up and down mountains that Virginia is known for not being. <laughs> so uh, again, I can't re I can't say this enough. Uh, Virginia is not flat, not not by a long shot. So uh, something cool though on the way up, um, I uh, saw a coyote, a wild coyote, um, probably about 30 yards up the trail from me, and uh, I tried to get my camera out in time. Unfortunately, he he ran up the trail and disappeared before I could see him again and uh, but he did leave a nice little poop present in the middle of the trail a huge poop present so i had to avoid that and uh so anyway so yeah 
interesting wildlife sighting today. I uh, didn't expect to see coyotes um, in, during the daylight hours on trail. So, all right. So now I'm going to make myself or make my way down to a shelter. And then from there, I deviate off uh, on a fire road to the hostel. So, all right. We'll catch you guys down trail. Hey guys. All right. So came out on another outlook and or overlook and just check this out. It's just so awesome when you're above the clouds like this is so neat and uh, such a neat look. So, well, just a reference that mountain that you see back there. That's the one I just came off of and I still have about two miles to go down before it levels off a little bit and I get to a shelter. But, uh, yeah, just wanted to share this with you because uh, it's so awesome. So hopefully you're enjoying it as much as I enjoy showing it to you. I'll catch you guys down trail. Hey guys, so special treat. I'm actually staying off the trail a little bit, uh, the Blue Blaze, to a place called uh, Rusty's Hard Time Hollow. And uh, this place has been hosting through hikers since 1982. So uh, it's a really eclectic place, really cool, very quaint, um, huge piece of property as you can see. It's bordered by a national forest, so you know, you don't have to worry about any building up around it. But uh, yeah, it's a really, really cool, eclectic place. And uh, lots of cool signs everywhere. Lots of, just, oh, just neat. And uh, really, really been enjoying hanging out with Rusty, who is truly uh, a piece of Americana and hiker lore. And uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. Uh, back here is the uh, spring, and they actually keep drinks cool by a little tub that uh, the spring feeds into. And it's funny because you find out that the diet sodas float in the spring and the not so diet sodas actually sink to the bottom of this little, uh, I don't know, little tub. And, uh, and then as you come around, so that little two story barn, that's the bunk house and that's where I'll be staying tonight. And right now it's just me. And, uh, and then this is the main house and I'll be taking a shower here in a bit I uh, didn't knock all the uh, hiking salt off of me. But uh, yeah, again, it's a very eclectic little place. Really cute, quaint, and uh, full of charm. And and I'll, uh, I'll have you uh, introduced to, uh, to Rusty in a bit. Hey guys, it's Aquaman, and again, I'm here at the Hard Time Hollow, and uh, with the curator and uh, original, uh, I guess, owner and operator, yep. uh, Rusty. Say hi, Rusty. How you doing? So, so how long you been doing this now? Uh, it's about 30 years for hikers, and uh, I just sold it up again year before last for the hikers, so I didn't get a good start with the pandemics and yeah all they did put a kind of but a i think it's going to pick up yeah i think so and, i think uh, so get back to normal as much as possible so that we can have get-togethers on 
on uh, Christmas and things like that, you know. Well, we all appreciate all the effort that you put into this place. It's very eclectic, very homely. It's, nice and, it's a nice place. It's this an awesome place was originally, the, there wasn't a chimney here. I built that myself, but uh, the, the, there was no chimney on it, but the place itself, I found out in the courthouse was built before the Civil War. Oh, wow. So it's been around for a long time. Apparently. And I know some of the families that had it before I got it, and uh, they're almost all gone. Mm. There's, some, there's some coffees left and some Everett's, and those are the family names of a lot of mountain people, but they're scattered all over the map. Okay. Um, so, but I have no relatives at all. My parents are both gone, and uh, my dad bought it for me to make the best of it. You know, and, and you so have. That's, <laughs> that's what I've done, and and I help uh, to fund the situation by people that are hiking through with donations or something. Yeah, and that's what's kept it going for a long, long time. Uh, well, again, the hiking communica uh, community appreciates all your efforts, and we I appreciate so. that, Rusty. I hope so. <laughs> all right. Bye, right, guys. We well, haven't thank all been here, but I'd like them to hurry up and get here. Oh, yeah. Well, def definitely this video will help. So. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for joining me, and uh, we'll catch you down trail. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Also, if you could, head over to AquamanOnTheAT.com and support me along the way with a donation. Thank you so much.